Hello everybody, welcome to episode 10 of my old school RuneScape Iron Man series. Please enjoy. Well, 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 look at what we got here, guys. I'm on my old school RuneScape Iron Man again, and yeah, to start off the episode, here we go, 58 range. So right now, obviously, this is my third task. And yeah, I guess going forward, for a while, I'm definitely going to just be grinding a lot of Slur, and at some point in time, I will be working towards those borrow skulls, that's for sure. So it'll be, you know, interesting content in the mix. Just got a genie lamp, and I'm gonna put this on Herblore. Should give me a level right there. 20 Herblore in the bag. Nice. And there we go. 59 range has been achieved, guys. Almost 260. I wish I could wear Blue D High, that'd be great, but you know, I can't get it until I get very, very high crafting compared to where I am now to make it. But look at the loot so far from this task. Look at this. Six room kites and one granite shield. That is bank. I wonder what I'm going to be spending this money on. Alright, let me sell the last room cut shield. There we go. So, I finished the uh, extra task and I gained 300k pure gold from Allison selling it to the um, Karamja store with the gloves. So, really good task. Probably going to be another standard task. Oh yeah, blood belts. Mm, I think I was trying to get uh, 80 strength or something. Yeah, that's right, 80 strength before I go for 70 defense. Here we have 60 range. That is an important milestone, I guess, because I can now wield red dragonite armor and use a dark bolt. However, I don't have access to any of that stuff, so yeah, that kind of sucks. But 10 more levels in range to 70 range, and I do have black dragon high, so. Yeah, just passed the 70 hit point threshold. That's pretty nice. And um, in just a little bit, we'll also have 61 range, which is also pretty good. That is 61 range right there as well. And uh, might see 62 pretty soon, to be honest. And there is 64 Slayer, guys. All right, one more level, and I think I can unlock those doubles. Interesting. What could the next assignment be? Oh god, 11 bronze dragons. Short task, but very, very annoying because of the guard dogs and black demon there. Ugh, gotta do it though. Three points. Just hit 45 with cutting, guys. And if you're wondering why I'm doing with cutting, I just want to get some logs for probably some fire making in the future. And I would like to get 56 for the Frunic Owls quest. But I'll see you guys at just hit 50 with cutting. And I'm probably just gonna keep doing willows for a bit. Finish the bronze dragon task. It's really annoying to do this task, but it is quite fast, so I guess it's three points towards uh, getting the Slayer helmet. I finally hit 60 fishing. Uh, pretty nice skilling milestone, I guess. And uh, I think I have now about 1,000 raw lobsters, I think. Let me just check real quick. I'll show you. Okay, so this should be the section. Wow, oh, Jesus. 1,513, actually. That's pretty insane. I still have to fish here for a little bit, but uh, yeah, in the next clip, I'll probably do some cooking or something. I'm probably going to get 60 plus cooking too, and I'll, you know, be uh, working towards the monkey madness portion of the recipe for disaster quest. Here we got 55 uh, cooking right here, and we just started cooking. So I just want to show you my bank actually what is going on, just because I was actually low on food. So I guess, you know, cooking these lobsters... Um, is actually pretty nice for Slayer and whatnot. Alright, hit another level 60 uh, stat. Pretty cool. I can cook curry now. And there is still quite a bit of lobster, so I'm probably just gonna cook that uh, you know, all up. Damn, my friends, look at this. A dragon inkling. And uh, eventually, I'm probably going to uh, have to train my hunter and get one of the, you know, glories off of them. But that won't be happening for a long, long time. So recently, Jagex um, gave the option for you to remove the overly excessive hard tasks uh, from your Slayer Masters, and it's this option. Let's talk about the difficulty of my assignments, and um, this is especially useful on Iron Man just because stuff like Iron Dragons and Bronze Dragons are a pain in the ass to do. So yeah, I don't want those annoying tasks anymore, and I shouldn't be getting Bronze Dragons hopefully from her. What the? Are you serious? 136 black demons? And they're not considered challenging? Are, are you for real? Well, take your into account when choosing types so you shouldn't get anything too hard. Black demons? What? 
Okay, all right, well, I guess um, I'll try to be doing a black demon task, but it's going to be hard as fuck. But, you know, I know how to prayer flick it and stuff, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh shit, I just realized I hit 85 combat, like, recently, so that means I can go and get tasks from Naive. Should be interesting. Look at that, boys and girls, my first room chain body drop ever on this Iron Man. Okay, let me pick that up. Is it any useful? Actually, I don't think it, it's useful for anything, not even, like, clues, but hey, still something. Oh, that's 73 strength right there. So yeah, the Black Demon task isn't too bad with prayer flicking. And I could probably just do this whole task, you know, in one go, but yeah, it's taking such a long time. But the amount of experience, though, makes this pretty damn efficient, if I, you know, do say so myself. And yeah, I'm not missing that much either. It's really good. Alright, so, we got 103k to the next strength level. That's going to be, a, like, a few Slayer tasks, probably. Finish the Black Demon task, and I gotta say, that task took way too long, but the amount of experience that I got from these guys was quite uh, good for, you know, strength trading anyways. And yeah, I also dropped some pretty interesting stuff like runes that's kind of useful, but I'm gonna start getting tasks from Nate now, and it should be better. Let's see what the next assignment is. Oh yeah, first task from Naive. And we got 168 blood fills. That's pretty good. Lots of experience. Good stuff. Ooh, we just hit 56 woodcutting. Oh, and I can now um, make the round shields. Wait a minute. Does that mean I can do the um, free medic Isles quest? Probably not because I think I also am missing a requirement to like construction. Let me see here. Oh, wait, I did start it. So, um,. I would like to get around to doing that quest as well, but as you can see, I only have one construction, and I need, I don't remember, vaguely, it was like some sort of construction level, so I'll probably work on that soon. Um, very soon, I'm also going to start working on a, a plethora of quests, man, because I actually need to start unlocking many things, like Kingdom, stuff like that too, and Tears of Gothics, because that would be really helpful. So after a few days of getting back into my old school RuneScape Iron Man because I haven't played on, on this account for a while, um, I've started you know to figure out what my priorities should be, and obviously I'm going to tell you guys about. It. So first things first, Barrels gloves is nice and all, but when it comes to training my skills, I really need to unlock Tears of Gothics, and believe it or not, I'm actually very very close to uh, having the requirements to do that quest. I only need 49 more crafting. And I can, you know, get that in a relatively short amount of time, three, three levels only. So once I unlock that, I am going to go ahead and work on requirements to do the quest to unlock Kingdom. I've been stockpiling a little bit of money. I think it will help me out in the long run if I invest my money into Kingdom right now, because then the resources will be super important for future skill training, whatever it may be. So that's the plan. I'm going to start working on crafting and here we are about to get 47 crafting and yes we just achieved 47 crafting and now I can craft the fan braces. So I have about like a little bit over 200 molten glass and hopefully I can get about 49 crafting off of that we'll see. Maybe like yeah maybe close to that if not you know I'll just uh, get some more from the goddamn charter ships and yeah get that we're so close to chess of Gothics. wow this actually went by pretty fast when you get the items look at that guys just hit 48 crafting and um remember when i said i had 250 um of these molten glass i was actually uh, wrong i had 350 and i did the math and i should either just hit uh 49 crafting with this many or just miss it by a little bit but either way that's good because that means I don't really have to, you know, spend time collecting more uh, of these supplies for a bit. Wow, guys, I can't believe I winged it and I am about to hit 49 crafting. And yes, I just hit it. So with that said, I can now uh, go ahead and do Tears of Gothics. That's awesome. I didn't even do the math to see how many uh, glass I would need to get to 49. And I still have 36 left over, so that's great. Fuck me, guys. I'm an idiot. Look at this level 49 fire making requirement for Tales of Gothics. Um, I'm actually not too, uh, you know, angry about this just because fire making is darn easy. So let me just hit up those last, uh, what was it, like 30, no, 20 something levels. So 
Yeah, let me just do that. I think I have enough logs anyways. Thank god I was AFKing with cutting, so yeah, I got the logs for it, no problem. And voila, there is 30 fire making right there, and now I can burn some will logs. Got a shit ton of those. We're gonna see each other in about 10 more fire making levels, so yeah man. See ya, 40 fire making. And there's 40 fire making guys, so yeah, I don't think, um, you know, it's gonna take long to get the last 9 levels. Obviously a little slow, but I guess I'll see you guys at 49 fire making, and then, you know, we'll head over to Tears of Guthix. This will be the final will log I have to burn for a while. Until I need to do Desert Treasure. So there we go, now I can light the Bullseye Lanterns. And that officially means I have all the requirements that I need for Tears of Guthix. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. At last, all the skilling for this moment guys. Hell yeah, Sapphire Lantern achieved. Now I can finish this Tears of Guthix quest really easily. Yes, I have the stone bow now. That was so easy. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that quest in. Yay! 1000 crafting experience. Eh, that isn't the main, you know, goal of this. But now I can, you know, do the mini game now and I should be getting some crazy construction experience. I'll see you after I finish this mini game. No way, that was so short. God dang, I need to do more quests. But 63 tiers is pretty good. Okay, should be getting like. 10 plus construction hopefully ah oh, not even close wow six construction okay that's cool though i wanted to get 20 uh so i can do for nick owls but i'll get around to that soon but yeah that's a good milestone done so i just sold all my junk rune items that i had in my bank that i forgot to sell and yeah my cash stack now is at 818k that's freaking insane we're really close to the mill but what i want to do with this money is invest it into kingdom of miscellanea but I haven't done the quest yet, but I do have the requirements, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. We're almost done with this quest, guys. Just need to cut enough of the maple tree logs to get 75%. Uh, what do you call those? Respect? No, it's probably not respect, but reputation. There we go. It's so slow, starting at such a low number. Finally, wow, I actually went over 10% access. But hey, that's better, you know? Because uh, I need to get 100% anyways in a few moments. So, now that part is done. And that means I have completed Throne Miscellanea. But we are not done yet. Just because we also have to do Royal Trouble to get the other, you know, bonus uh, resources. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Alright. And the Snake Boss is now dead. Pretty easy. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. I believe there should be an entrance way after this, like, or just send me straight back up. Alright, I'll see you guys at the end of the quest. There we go, guys. World Trouble has been completed, and wow, the XP gains is sick. 5k agility slayer hit points and a few GP, too. And increased resources, oh yeah, 44 agility and 65 slayer. And I can kill dust levels. Awesome. What should I be, you know, putting my resources into? Well, definitely not into fishing and definitely not into mining. I'm gonna go 100% into herb lore and put the rest into the maple log slash like bird nets and stuff. So that's pretty much how I usually go about doing this, just because herbs are really, really important. Um, yeah, herb is gonna be a pain on old school Iron Man for sure, like even more so than my R3 one. So yeah, it's really important that I got this started. I honestly should have started this a long time ago, even, you know, when I took a break on this account, but yeah, you know, I just wasn't thinking uh, straight at that time, but hey, I got my priority set up. Kingdom's done, and Tears of Guthix, you know, obtained, so yeah, we should be getting some nice weekly gains on the side, but right now I gotta go back to Slayer, you know, I'm gonna take a break from questing. That was enough for today and for a while. Oh snap, I forgot to deposit money, so I'm gonna put a good 400k into the kingdom, and that should uh, last me for a while. So I should be getting the full uh, resources every day for a bit. In today's episode, I gained about 1 million experience since the beginning. So I was at 4.6-ish, uh, and now I'm at 5.6. So that's really surprising, I gained 1 million XP. So a lot of that XP went to actually a, an array of skills like cooking, fishing, 
you know, mostly my strength, a bit of range, and of course, summon to Slayer. And hopefully, in the next episode, I will have some more quests done. You know, stuff like Swan Song, maybe even part of the recipe for the disaster quest. We'll see. I don't know how like exactly I'm gonna go about it in the next few days, but I will definitely be hammering out my Slayer task because I really just wanna prioritize on Slayer as much as I can because you know at the end of the day if I can get that whip you know long term goal but if I can get it soon the better you know so let's just talk about uh, the uploading schedule for this series now if you don't watch my R2 Iron Man winning challenge series and you probably you know don't know the situation so what's going to be happening is this series will definitely have a consistent you know uploading schedule like there's probably gonna be a video on this at least once or maybe twice a week so um, I will be uploading a good amount on my archery army series as well and also on this series as well so it's gonna be a nice balance so yeah don't expect the videos for this series to come out like every three days or something but you know it will be quite uh, frequent you know that no longer will I take like these random like two week breaks or like three week breaks or stuff you know, you're always going to see an episode on this on your inbox at least once or twice a week. But other than that, I hope to see everybody in a few days on this account, you know, with some nice progress. Other than that, take care, guys. See ya.